uh, don't tie everything to your estrogen uh, making if uh, uh, you know life doesn't end when your estrogen uh, <laughs> ends the pleats or yes, ends or whatever yes, exactly. that's what uh, Samita is saying and Sunila what about you because I'm sure your uh, take on this would be a little different <laughs> you know what I think uh, yeah. what uh, you know, she mentioned, I think I really resonate with whatever your thoughts are and, you know, the way she's yeah. bringing all the things, aspects yeah. together. I think mine, I feel it's coming from a more practical, experiential perspective. Okay. Which, yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, actually, uh, the thing is, uh, all women, I mean, uh, same thing, the menopause, yeah. right? Like, yeah, I think yeah. I'm in that phase right now. I'm yeah. touching 50 this year, so I'm yeah. excited. Mm -hmm. And for the fact that... Uh, uh, you know, I didn't realize that uh, whatever I've done so far in my life yeah. based on either fitness levels, the food, mm -hmm. the rest, mm -hmm. uh, the yoga, the mm -hmm. meditation, mm -hmm. I think that has given me kind of life that I have right now. Touch wood, knock on wood that I don't have any, any ailments, like literally, uh, you know, I think not even a single thing, like mm -hmm. all vitals are normal. I mean, I have never been off the charts in any ways. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I don't know whether that was a good lifestyle that I brought me here, mm -hmm. but I'm really looking forward to another 50 years at least. I mean, you Absolutely. know, like I don't care the it's number. It's a healthy way of thinking. Yeah, well. because, yeah. Um, and um, I think that's how I look at it. And then rest, what you mentioned is so true you know it's so neat so much needed and we're yeah, in yeah, a yeah. rat race yes. and uh, I think that dawning moment was me uh, with me was when I had my kid she was like barely a year old and I think I one day told my husband I asked my husband what are we doing you know like eating sleeping resting <laughs> driving I cook I sleep yeah. I do the chores at home like I mean what are, is this my I life know. I mean exactly. it was seriously like a dawning moment uh -huh. and I was looking for something uh -huh. and that kind of triggered me to go for looking for some meditation some mm -hmm. and that's the you know, thing where I realized meditation is not like sitting thoughtless it's not the thoughtless mind process it is more of really going inward and thinking as to really what are you looking for what does your journey look like mm -hmm. And uh, meditation is also a process where really it kind of calms you down. Yes. And basically your wiring, the thoughts, the neurons, they're in scientific terms, mm -hmm. they're constantly fired up, right? Like you're yeah. like all, you're fired up. That's what we say, right? Mm -hmm. But that the firing process has to slow down. Yeah. And that's what meditation helps. Yeah, and yeah. that is the rest I call. That is the one that is needed mm -hmm. for most of us, especially in all this rat race right now, to calm down and really get that relaxation. Okay. So the body rest is yeah. one thing and the mind rest is the other thing. Yeah. And only when they are integrated together, mm -hmm. then you can have that performance what you are looking for. Absolutely. Otherwise, you're going to look at the same thing. I'm tired at the end of the yeah. day. That's exactly what you're going to hear yeah. otherwise. Yeah. And uh, I mean, so I have increased my meditation practices. Mm -hmm. I see the uh, rest mm -hmm. in me, okay. uh, pausing it, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. after a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. and. You know, it just kind of have helped, and yeah. you know, it's yeah. that's how you should continue uh, relaxing and energizing yeah. yourself. Yeah, but I think uh, for women over forty or fifty, strength training is a huge, huge part too. Yes. You know, my doctor says start. You know, you need to uh, start strength training because yeah. that becomes important because of you know we are losing our muscles right, right. now, and that is also important. Yes. Uh, like uh, you both are saying a wholesome uh, way of living is all will always work but it's not always you know everything is not uh, you know at peace around you so you have to find the peace uh, uh, in the chaos that you're living in mm -hmm. and we all all the women do and like I uh, so much relate to uh, you know both of you because I think as a woman you start to question your lifestyle uh, that what are we doing uh, even for me personally I also started to question is this it I mean is this all I have I, you know and then you start to create there is something there there's a creative energy mm -hmm. and I'm not going to say just in women but in everybody yes. men ut utilize it in a more analytic way maybe right. or even women can but mm -hmm. you know in a different and I think women have this 
complete uh, creative energy that mm -hmm. they can. So all I'll say and listening to both of them, find that if you know you're feeling that um, space right now, uh, you know, ladies, do question, uh, you know, where your uh, power lies and where you know your strength lies. And I also I think started meditating. And that kind of uh, helped a lot. And one thing that I've done, uh, you know, health-wise consistently is meditation. Yeah. If not anything else, That's you great. can. Yeah, That's I agree. Yeah. yeah, so I think that brought uh, a little bit of clarity as yeah. to and decision-making bars mm -hmm. as to and you know not feeling oh should I do it and you know so right. I think that is very helpful and um, you know you, you talked touched on the other pillars but I think. Um, Nutrition is a huge part of our uh, lives and especially we come from a country, uh, a culture that is seeped in festivities and you know food becomes such a major part of our personalities, yeah. our living and uh, uh, you know you go to India you cannot refuse uh, food when it's offered to you that's where we come from yeah. And, yeah, really, really you know my kids would say mom I said no but they're still feeding me because they don't know right. we know yeah. so how can you know especially uh, uh, women I say uh, over 40 because now we need to take care early on or I was having fast food too and nothing was happening but now I'm for 10 15 years I've not touched it so yeah. tell, tell talk a little bit about nutrition yeah yeah, yeah. Is it yeah. you want yeah. to? Yeah. I, can, yes. I can talk about it like yes. hours. Yeah. We have only like, yeah, another yeah. eight minutes. Yeah, so basically, I think nutrition is really important. Food, yes. as you mentioned, right? Yeah. Uh, and our uh, festivities, culture, it's all about mm. food or the sweetness. So yes. there is a uh, science or there is I was thought behind it the way it is done to uh, celebrate life is that's the yes, sweetness yes. but I think it has gone overboard mm. and uh, while I was um, mm. growing up I don't think it was so much of food 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 it was okay. like you know right it, it, ah. availability of food was not as Less. much like in the bar yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah. many shops uh, now available like... 12, you know, 12 <laughs> months 365 days it's yeah. not like that yes uh, so when there's a festival you'll go and have this uh. sweet mm. then you know like maybe in um, Diwali you'll have the yeah. special kind of sweet yes. so it, it had a time See, yeah, but yeah. now it's nothing seasonal you know mm. everything is like available 365 24 7 Yes. Mm. So, which means now you are, you know, but now it's your mind mm. yeah. has to have that control mm. as to what are you going to pick and choose to really yes. eat and yes. how much mm. is the main thing. Yeah. Gulab jam. Oh, <laughs> I can have like five at a time. No, sorry. <laughs> you can. The, the dinners, right? Like the buffet dinners. Look yes. at it. Like they have a Italian, right. Chinese. I mean, it's not needed. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I know. And, you know, I know. On that note, I was going to say mm -hmm. that sometimes we think nutrition is limited to food, but to me, the word nourishment is really the bigger umbrella. Yes. Because, um, mm. you know, yoga and the Vedas basically mm. have guided us to nourish ourselves through all our senses. Mm. But unfortunately, we have got fixated on the sense of taste. Yes. And, and that is why, because we're not nourishing our sense of mm. sight, our sense mm. of sound, mm. our sense of touch and a sense of a smell because mm -hmm. these four are undernourished mm -hmm. so we overnourish taste you know that is why we have these oh. cravings and we are mm -hmm. uh, reaching out for food as a uh, sort of a placebo mm -hmm. you know to yeah. uh, uh, I don't know if that's the right word but so I think that you know understanding that we we do need to nourish mm -hmm. and joyful nourishment is key we don't have to always look in terms of deprivation yes. but once we are nourished when we have taken care of all our senses mm -hmm. these cravings that you know uh, are uh, causing this confusion in us like how much when all of that gets resolved. Hmm. Um, so a lot of times, you know, it's not, um, we don't have to take the onus of really trying to figure things out. It's just a matter of, uh, as you're saying in your meditations, reaching out for clarity. Once the clarity is there, the body wisdom hmm. is what, what will guide us. Hmm. So, I mean, it's it's almost an idealistic worldview, but hmm. I, I can't, I mean, I, yeah. have, <laughs> I mean, I have seen enough uh, people over the last 25 years of my practice hmm. Uh, finally make the shift because of you know what their body is guiding them to and yeah. not because of what I'm telling them yeah. to eat and drink you know so I think it's a lot of um, 
just understanding that nourishment has to be bigger than the sense of taste. Okay, right? that's a deep one, and uh, yeah. you know, it, I think it takes a lot of clarity to understand that what you are saying. <laughs> and people are serving you, eat it. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, yeah. and especially if people like me with a sweet tooth, then uh, but you know, uh, that is there. And, um, but there's so many diets that uh, you know people go on to. Sometimes it works. Uh, but uh, it's hard to be consistently on a diet, say, you know, but there's a lot of, uh, you know, I'm hearing a lot about the intermittent fa fasting, that 18 hour or 16 hour, and people, it's working for many. Then there's a Atkins diet, and then there's a uh, what keto <laughs> diet. So what do you have to say about diet, if, uh, you know, what people would want to go on that? Does it work? Um, yeah. So, I mean, the, I, I obviously propose the Ayurvedic diet and the Ayurvedic okay. diet is that you eat seasonal foods, you okay. eat local food, okay. you eat fresh food hmm. and if you eat fresh, local and seasonal, hmm. you are doing just yeah, fine. I think the problem do. is we put too many don't eat this, don't eat that so everyone is so hmm. focused on what not to eat hmm. that look at what is possible to eat, look at in this season so much is growing. Yes. Okay. Look at all the beautiful dishes hmm. that can be created you know so there's a lot to look at, look hmm. forward to every season there's new foods yes. new fruits mm. um, if people did these three things local yes. fresh seasonal mm. they will not gain weight they will oh. not yeah their weight will be balanced okay. they will be nourished you know yeah, and one more thing yeah. to add to it home yeah. cooked that's yeah. another thing because yes. it's a huge yeah. part of it mm -hmm. uh, I mean I feel uh, you know that's really the key because you never know how much what is going in that yeah, food right yeah. even if it is Absolutely. local and everything yeah especially and the greens stage. yeah i mean this everything as i keep on saying everything is available out there mm -hmm. but make a choice for yourself for your health yeah. prioritize your health right. yeah and intermittent fasting is uh, something that is ingrained in ayurveda you okay. know the idea of eating with the sun and then oh, okay. stopping to eat when the sun sets mm -hmm. is is just um, now being understood by a circadian science that mm -hmm. understands that um, you know our digestive systems peak at a certain hour yes. and obviously if we ate food around yeah. those hours we would yeah. be more likely to digest yeah. so it's not a novel concept this okay. is a very ancient concept yes. of course everything gets hijacked and given fancy names and then suddenly it becomes a diet you know? so, <laughs> uh, but to me it's all like uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 ancient timing yeah. so that's why I think people are turning to those uh, uh, the ancient knowledge basically and you know we're trying to inculcate that in our yeah. and um, when it was wonderful talking to both of you I would like for you to tell us about your uh, uh, you know uh, organizations or uh, you know your community platform briefly where can people reach you <clears throat> I'm sure there's so much to talk you know about harnessing our energy but briefly about uh, you know your platforms please so Sunila you have a uh, uh, sure. Yeah. So actually, yeah. So um, I uh, I'm very active on Instagram and Facebook. So you can definitely check me out with Fit with Sunila, okay. and uh, you can you know subscribe, like it, and I share a lot of videos and uh, uh, client reviews and everything out there as well. And uh, YouTube channel is also available mm -hmm. for you to do your own mm -hmm. workouts, quick workouts, mm -hmm. uh, you know, five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, and continue with strength training. You know, that's the only thing I would definitely highly, highly recommend and the meditation because those are the things that are going to be with you to the end of your life. Yeah. So I feel that's the strongest. And of course, please pick on the food items <laughs> <laughs> that are healthy for you. <laughs> so that's the message I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I've, um, you know, uh, during COVID, I launched an online well-being platform. So mm -hmm. I think um, most people can find me at omniwellness.org. Mm -hmm. um, and we have about 500 members currently. It's nice. a great online community. Mm -hmm. uh, we practice meditation. We have workshops on nourishment, uh, movement. Of course, I favor uh, most yogic styled movements. Yes. And I do lead classes in that realm. And uh, finally, it gives us an opportunity to connect. Even if it is online, it's a great way to enhance energy, reduce stress, and discover peace. That's the promise of the platform. Wonderful work, and thank you for the initiatives that you all have started. 
all the best for that so listeners you've already heard both of them uh, you can look uh, into their profile join them sometimes and uh, like she's saying she's into strength training but people like me maybe we can't be <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, uh, lifting the weights that she lifts but there's so many other ways to strength yes, train yeah. which Sunila can tell you I know my uh, you know the time is not permitting otherwise we would have gone into that but there, there are ways and home cooked uh, food with so much of variety available outside and uh, you know so less time you can make minimalistic, uh, you know, uh, meals also. You don't have to be slogging in the kitchen forever. So I think there are ways to make small changes, uh, everyday changes, um, and work on yourself. Uh, I think every day. I think that's the way to live. And because you can't get into the, that vast thing, I have to, you know, reduce to twenty pounds now, and I need to start everything together, like Sunila said and Sunita said, like one at a time. You know, uh, take it easy. And I hope, uh, you know, you embrace the healing power of a positive mind. Mind is the most important, I feel, here, uh, you know, to uh, make it work. So thank you for joining, uh, you know, uh, on Off The Cuff. And uh, take care, ladies. Be well. Thanks thank for you having so us. much. No, lovely chatting with you. Thank you so much. 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 So thank you guys. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Shosha is a creative Indian restaurant located in the heart of Silicon Valley. Shosha is a woman-owned business that serves traditional Indian flavors assimilated with molecular gastronomy techniques. The best Indian bar with happy hours in the Bay Area serves handcrafted drinks inspired by flavors from India with modern craft cocktails that are presented in unique ways. Shosha is a modern take on traditional Indian cuisine. We specialize in corporate luncheon, anniversary celebrations, birthday parties, and catering. Do check us out for a memorable modern Indian dining experience. Shosha is located at 141 South Murphy Avenue in Sunnyvale, California.